Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President and Chief Financial Officer for Google, Patrick Pichette. Good morning, Kansas City. Good morning. Good morning to everybody else who's joining us on the web. Um, my name is Patrick Pichette. My day job is to be the Chief Financial Officer at Google. Everybody needs a day job. That's mine. And, but as part of my job, uh, I've also been one of the key sponsors of this Google Fiber project, an amazing project. Look, as part of my day job at Google, you can imagine, I have an immense privilege of living, living really on the edge of the digital economy. And not only that, but I'm side by side every day with these amazing engineers and project managers at Google that reinvent the world, that pushes the edges, that actually invents these amazing products that you benefit and live with the magic every day. And all this magic, it's really available because of one fundamental force, the web. And it's something that's amazing because now you kind of take it for granted, the web. We all do. Yet, it's such a profound, amazing force for the good. Let me give you, if you take a step back over the last decade, how our lives have changed in small but really important ways because of the web. So let's take an example, right? A productivity, so commerce, right? E-commerce is something you take for granted now. You sit on your sofa at home and you shop. Much more convenience, right? You get better choice. You get okay, better so prices, he's going to talk about to how the Internet's made our lives so much better and That's all that. We all know that. Let's move granted. on to where they you throw the cable companies under the bus. That's the part I like. Such as so let me see here. Turn by turn directions. I'm going to have to go non-full right? screen. Now you have turn by turn directions. On move your this forward a little bit here. I want to get to where the graph is. And you should watch this whole thing, by the way. This whole presentation is, is mind-blowing. And then your access. So here we go. That's really it. And go back it's to full actually screen. worth taking a look at the last 15 years and look at how these trends have evolved and where are we today. So I've got a chart for you. And I'm going to first put computing. Everybody's heard of Moore's Law. And Moore's Law is really simple. It basically says computing power doubles every 18 months. And with that in mind, and you know, because it's an exponential curve, it just gets really big. And yet it's continued to live its promise. So what does that mean? That means that everybody here that's got a smartphone, the computing power on your phone is dramatically better than what your PC was five years ago. And that's why we made bets on mobile at Google, because you could see it coming. So that's just to give you a sense of the power of one. Then you go to storage and look at the curve. It's been absolutely astounding. Storage cost continues to plummet. You can put more and more bits into you know, smaller So he's talking about the price of hard drives on your computer and continued. storage it's in the cloud, a curve. And both lastly, getting cheap. the three pieces that come together, it's access. So speed and cost. Well, the story there, take a look. It's quite different. 
And yet, we notice that you know, in the first days of the internet, you go to 1990 to 2000, it was very clear it was doubling. People remember, people my age, the younger ones won't, but 14.4 kilobits to 28 kilobits, like, and you heard and 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 you heard the yeah of that dial-up, and you thought, wow, this is awesome, right? And it kept on going. And then after the broad, the the cable modem showed up since the year 2000, very little progress. On there the goes the cable company under the bus. Year the 2000, today cable modem comes out and it flatlines. And no more innovation. On a unit cost basis, the same thing as 15 years ago. But there's hope because in the last few years, the technology has evolved dramatically. And now it does enable us to actually provide huge access speeds 100 times faster. And in fact, many countries are jumping on the bandwagon. Many countries are not waiting. They're in fact jumping ahead. And, and for those that actually are investing, their average speeds are And this is the icing on the cake, throwing them under the bus even further. They're going to say, so, obviously, they could have done it if they wanted to. We believe there's no need to wait. There's no need to be limited. There's no need for caps. There's no need for slow. Why slow? Why there's slow? Because the cable companies won't innovate. They have an amazing abundance of capacity. And with it, deliver that third curve, which is really lining up the storage and computing. And that's the choice that we have today. We either stay on that momentum, or do we take this new course? We think at Google, by the way, this pretty bold, very well pretty bold for them to basically come mission. right out and say, mission, since the year 2000, the, the cable companies and Verizon and the incumbents have all dropped the ball. Immensely useful to all of you. So that's I'm going to move forward to one more dig so that they did. That's our See if I can do it. And yeah, I can do it here. Oh, here we go. Um, let's get this. I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, what is Google Fiber? Well, Google Fiber starts with internet speeds up to a gigabit a second. That's a thousand megabits a second. Engineers use different. It's still that way too. Just like a, a billion is a thousand million uh, in the CFO world. And our gigabit is the same symmetric gigabit because you can upload as fast as you can download. It's internet 100 times faster than what most Americans have today. And what does it mean to be 100 times faster? Well. If you were in a car that moved 100 times faster than another car, and both cars left at the, from Kansas City going to New York, the car going faster would be there in New York before the other car left Missouri. We drive crazy in California, but that's why we've got self-driving uh, cars. To so this really does illustrate a gigabit is very fast. I mean, it is very fast. OK, so I'm going to go on. Um, and he's talking about the costs here well, again. Like at least we're better than New Zealand. They're saying that that we're paying way too much for our now you cost might be per asking, megabit. Again, another dig at get? the cable companies. Let's go on. Um, talk about this during internet speeds. I want to get on to the TV. Um, they talk about the television. We're just showing the speeds again. And this is a long thing, but you should watch it all, I'm telling you. Here's they're talking about the TV, okay, and all its features. Then I'm going to show you the other dig. And I think there are others, but this is a good one. Here we go. And he comes back on. Wasn't it cool? We're really excited about this product and hope you are too. You don't have to settle for old style television anymore. <laughs> there you go. You don't have, I got to pause this. You don't have to settle for old style television anymore. Now, how big a dig is that? In other words, he's basically saying, cable companies, you've done nothing. You've done no innovation. You've been sitting on your monopoly and now we're going to take over. And I think this is so exciting. Again, you've got to watch the whole presentation. It's on my blog. If you go to craigship.com and click through to my blog, I have it there. Or if you just Google Google Fiber, you'll see the presentation. Um, how long is it total? It's 
a little over an hour long. Um, so you'll you'll know that's the video when you find it. So um, so anyway, they this is bold. They really came right out and attacked the incumbents and just basically indicted them and said, since the year 2000, you all have just been lumbering along doing nothing and meanwhile the rest of the globe is passing us by in internet technology which is just in my in my estimation that's criminal I mean they, they, they have a, had a monopoly they they had an opportunity to maintain leadership as far as the US is concerned in the internet and so forth and since the year 2000 or a little bit after that they basically totally dropped the ball and that's that's 12 years, 10 or 12 years, depending on how you look at it. I mean, let's say it's 2002, they dropped the ball. It's still 10 years. So um, that's just, that's inexcusable, uh, considering Moore's Law. Um, so um, that's my rant for the day. Thanks for listening.